Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Fox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and make my final video for you guys for Harvest League. Um, before I go into all the nitty gritty, I just want to show you what the character ended up uh, being like. The Basically the Mono Righteous Fire guy. So I'm going to go pop in a quick T16 map and just go ahead and run it real fast. So this is going to be with Awakener 8 uh, and with my Atlas bonus objective at 132. And I got a cat resting literally on my hand as I'm trying to play. So if I fuck up a little, you know why. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so basically, I just wanted to start talking a little bit about Harvest and how I felt uh, about this league. Since I know most people have been curious as to how I've played this league so long and other leagues not really very long at all. So Harvest, I've been pretty happy with. I've been pretty impressed with it, but it lacks extreme quality of life. Um, I think GDG made a pretty big mistake by not allowing players to upgrade horticulture stations and essentially the um, the regular storage tanks right away until waiting one month into the league. Now I understand there is, you know, Corona basically going on and things are fucked all around the world. But the problem is, is that every single Path of Exile league at least that I've personally played kind of feels like a beta until about a month and a half to two Ooh. months in. And then it feels like they really polish their mechanics. And it's not too bad for me as I've been taking really long breaks from Path of Exile. But it's just kind of sad to see that this kind of always remains. I feel like they always try so much to go above and beyond. When in the current state of Path of Exile, there's already so much to do that players feel like they're extremely overwhelmed. And they just want quality of life. They want to be able to do what they're already able to do just faster or quicker or more efficiently. Okay. So, let me go ahead and talk about what I mean about Harvest. I'll tell you about the parts I like, I'll tell you about the parts I dislike. So if I were to go into my Sacred Grove, um, I've done all the forms of seed stuff. I already did the Heart of the Grove one time. Um, you know, I've done lots of T1, T2, T3 seed crafting, etc. I really enjoy the mechanics of how simple it is to set up your seeds. So basically, you just come over here. If you want to auto plant random shit, then you just click it. It's done. Uh, that's kind of nice. So after that, of course, you just harvest the the, uh, <clears throat> the seeds, you kill the mobs, you get your crafts. I do wish that the crafts were organized a little bit better so players wouldn't accidentally fuck up and make mistakes. Um, just because it's always really annoying doing your 86 map, then going into your harvest, then doing all the mobs in harvest, and then accidentally saying forgetting one or missing one. I think it would be cool if they would just like prompt you with like, hey, you have harvest crafts remaining more. As whatever has not been condensed would you sh are you sure you'd like to leave um, so that would be something that's kind of nice the other part I don't like is if you look here all this this stuff here this is extremely unnecessary and causes huge performance problems for people with lower NPCs is basically having to spam these storage tanks as pretty much 85% of your entire area is just storage tanks I thought that this was extremely unnecessary and you could just make it so you have like preset storage tanks and you just upgrade them exactly like the delve mechanic um but mainly the more important thing is there are these things you can make called horty crafting stations and this is the part that really just bothered me where basically you can oh actually i just realized we got an update so now it's colored so now it's fire see it took them a month to be able to just color code text and i'm not trying to shit on gg this is not meant to be a negative video but it's like I feel like these these forms of quality of life could be implemented right away. Maybe I'm being too harsh. I, I'm not really sure. Um, but the parts I don't like is you basically. Uh, I'll just use a real quick example here and just show. So you would you would do your harvest right. So let's pop this real fast. Okay, you kill all the mobs, and then you come over here and you decide. Oh, I want to save this mod because it's lightning. So what do you do? You pop a horticulture station, then you find something to connect it to, make sure that, you know, okay, good. Then you augment it, and then you do three more. So I'll just say, you know, uh, let's just, uh, here, remove chaos, and then boom. Well, then what do I do now? Well, now you got to take your horticulture station away, and then you got to go to your hideout, and I'll explain why you have to do this, okay? Then from your hideout, you need to go over to your quad tab. Pretty much need a quad tab. You could put it in another tab if you want, and you put it here. And then when you're ready to craft an item, you gotta go search what you want, and then you gotta pull it out of your stash tab, go back to your harvest area, 
put the horticulture station down, utilize the craft, then hook it back up to something so that it has three crafts again. And the problem is like, this just is very unnecessary and extremely convoluted. I feel like they could have just made a menu where you have, you know, three horticulture stations, one for each one, the pink one, the yellow one, and the blue one. And then you just have a scroll tab of all the, the mods that you save. And if you want to save more mods, then instead of building something like this and spamming, I've noticed GDG likes it when you spam stuff. You gotta spam horty crafting stations. You gotta spam the uh, power tanks. You gotta spam pick up scraps on the floor and shards and splinters. I'm not really sure why. Um, but I just feel like if they could condense this and make it not like this, a lot of people who disliked Harvest would not mind interacting more with the League mechanic because it would be much more simplified. It's not very simple. It's easy if you know the game, but trying to get into it, it's just very convoluted. Anyway, though, other than that, I really enjoyed the process of crafting. It was really fun cross-referencing, you know, mods on PoEDB and then trying to eliminate what you can do. And you can craft some really cool stuff. So, for example, all of my gear is 100% crafted uh, in SSF. I didn't finish all of my gear. I just ended up kind of getting burnt out. Um, my belt is a really nice piece as an example, reduced damage from crits, really good res, mana recovery, life mana. Uh, I've got these boots that I crafted out of there, although I did find temple boots that are better, I just didn't get around to them. My chest piece I was working on, but I didn't really feel like saving up 15 augment fizz and remove fizz to force off the reflect. Um, this ring was a product of it as well, which was pretty nice. Uh, then I've got my helmet, which came from there too. Uh, and then, of course, my amulet that came from there as well. And I did do some jewel crafting, which was nice too. For example, we have like the fire damage overtime multiplier life mana jewel with dex. And dex was there originally with mana, and then I added the two other mods. Um, this one was forced inside there as well. I think it was either caster mod or I forgot what it was, but there's a way to force onslaught, which was really nice. And then, yeah, I mean, majority of my gear came out of there. <clears throat> so to talk about the next part with the character... I was really happy with the low life, not low life, sorry, I always call it low life. The Mana Righteous Fire character overall ended up being pretty much exactly what I want. The build is really tanky. You know, it's 4.3k life with 40% mom with an arcane guard that's 4k. And if I wanted to, I could make it immensely more tanky. It just requires more gear, you know, Watcher's Eye. I'm sure Legion Jewels could benefit it as well. Um, lots of different ways to scale. It's got so many different awakened support gems you can use, such as like awakened burn damage. I know there's a awakened ink AOE, awakened LE focus. Um, then on Scorching Ray, you can use awakened control destruction. I'm sure there's also, you can get awakened burn damage. You can get awakened LE focus, which is all pretty nice. So I want to go ahead and kind of show you guys everything that I've accumulated. This go around in SSF. Part of, part of playing Path of Exile for me and playing SSF it's just really enjoying all of the stuff that you acquire. Even if you don't use 98% of it, it's just the joy and the thrill of just sh seeing what you've acquired, I guess. It's not as fun for me in a trade league because you just convert everything to currency and then purchase stuff. So it's just not really the same for me. Um, so I did end up playing 7 days, 15 hours, 7 minutes on the character. That's quite a long time for me, uh, for sure. So map sustain has been great. Didn't have a problem with maps this league. Uh... That was pretty much fantastic. I mean, I don't think map sustain has been a problem for God knows how long. Like, God knows how long, literally. Never ended up doing the metamorph parts. I just kind of saved them all up. We found a total of six fertile catalysts. Uh, these were going to be saved, and then I was either going to scour chance of Pua, or I was just going to slam my current amulet with it. Just saved up some tabulas for divines. These are basically all from Awakener. My stones I got. I got an empowered breach stone I never did bunch of delirium shit this is my blight tab with some i i was gonna decide to push for like level 98 or level 99 so i was gonna not do as many guardians because there's a good chance of dying and then i just ended up dying to random shit i'm just not paying attention and i actually got hit from detonate dead for like 14.5k because of a blight boss even though i remove all corpses the blight boss died and then a beyond mob instantly dd'd and i took 4.3k life and damage. I took 5k mana and damage somehow, even though that conversion makes no sense, but the death recap shows it. And then I had Arcane Cloak on for 4k damage reduction, uh, or, or the bubble. Oh, I guess that's why then, because of Arcane Cloak's conversion. And then I also had the infusion buff uh, for you take less damage from fire, and it just straight up one-shot me, so that was pretty interesting. Um, what else? I got the, the mirror card on here, which was pretty interesting. Where is it? 
the seven years bad luck. Yeah, uh, it's pretty... We got pretty good luck this league, though, so no complaints. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and keep on moving on. This is just a five-for-one tab. Bunch of uniques I've got. My essence tab that I pretty much didn't really use this league at all. Um, delve tab. I didn't do too much delve crafting. The only thing I actually forced delved was a Lucent Fossil on my helmet for the Mana Regen roll. Uh, my Fragment tab, I did fail one Uber Elder. I don't have any really experience with Uber Elder aside from one of the leagues that I did him in and that was about it. So I was pretty sad to do one failed Uber Elder and rip it. But I did end up, you know, I had a bunch of Guardian maps so I could have ran probably like another two to three Uber Elders but I just didn't really feel like it. Um, towards the end, I kind of just lost the motivation. I did really want Indigon, but I'm just kind of bored right now so there's no point in forcing myself to play. I also was going to do a four-way Legion so I may do this off stream at some point. These are just my flasks. I always put them in four. I found three Rumi's Concoctions this league. Uh, my Lore Weave tab. This is an interesting one because I always like seeing every league I play, like what my weighted rolls are on every single ring. Uh, and then, of course, one Stormfire and one Essence Worm. Just chancing um, whatchamacallits in here. Let's see if I ever get one. At Ziri's Foible. Nope. Uh, my jewels for jewel crafting I ended up finding out that crimson is the best base to craft on for this build because you can force fire multi with caster mod which is really nice um there's just a random craft tab but that doesn't matter gcp recipe prophecy um that doesn't matter corruption tab oh yeah this is the staff that i was working on uh basically you can force this staff to have plus three fire gems by locking its prefixes so you have three prefixes that you don't or sorry three suffixes that you don't want and then you add fire damage to spells and then you essentially come over into I harvest i think i may have a lot to try let's see i never ended up getting a good staff i ended up finally finding a searing touch and we just worked with that let's see you have the augment fire Oh, no, which means Augment Fire might be here. No. Oh, that's ripped then. Hello. But basically, the method is you force all your suffixes to be something that you can remove. So I have Cold, Chaos, and then Life, so I can remove all of that. And then you prefix Flat Fire to Spells because it's the most common roll for Fire. And then you do Augment Fire hoping to get plus 3 gems. If you don't get plus three gems, then you simply come over here to the bench, click it, you do uh, remove, you remove your crafted mod, which would be the flat fire spells. Then you go into harvest and you do remove fire, which removes that whatever you just added with augment fire. And then you rinse and repeat, come back, craft flat fire spells until you get plus three dispels. I don't know what the best methods of doing that are, but that was what I was doing for SSF. Um, and you need to have the plus two all skill gems. I know people were talking about Fractured, but Fracturing is really RNG for SSF since it rolls like a 1 in 3 and then you have to get the craft again, so that's a lot. This was my tab that I was working on crafting. I ended up finding these boots from Incursion, which are crazy, uh, and then I was just going to force life on it and then craft mana, and then it would be 6 property usable boots with dodge chance, which is nuts. Uh, just random elder stuff um this was a build i was gonna make i had a lot of ideas i was gonna go with an elemental hit build but then i just got kind of burnt out and i didn't really feel like it just because i had the ellie hit gems and a warlord thicket bow along with zoff's blood so a lot of cool stuff also found like a shabs this league and agus aurora uh, i was looking for this but you know too late came a month into the league this is such a cool item to build around too with power creep um, these gloves were a pretty big highlight. We were, I was trying to make it work. I just really didn't have the motivation to make another character. Um, but man, I had some awesome RNG this league. Awesome RNG. Okay, moving on. I, I was trying to get Tempered Mind, I think, from Incursion. I wanted to basically upgrade this jewel because if I put it right here, I think it's 18% or 15% damage over time multi with a little bit of mana recovery, but you lose max mana, but that's a huge damage. Uh, so I was definitely looking for that. This is my rare tab, basically things I accumulated over the league that are kind of rare. I got two Combs Hearts, three Carcass. I did have some other stuff, but I stacked it for Piranhas Coins. Uh, I got the Magna Eclipse, a bunch of other random stuff. Finally got my Cloak of Defiance to drop, but I don't use it anymore because 
I can't really six link it since it costs way too many fuses and I really prefer my explosion chest for mapping. Uh, I've had these synthesis gloves that give Vuln on hit with attack speed and life leech is not removed at full life which actually seems kind of nuts but I have no clue. I, no, I, I just don't know. I'm not nearly as knowledgeable about PoE as I was before. I got a pure talent, intuitive leap. I have two threads of hope. This was my failed corrupt tab with my two level three empowers. We were trying to push a level four empower um, so that I could use it with my RF. And then a bunch of just random shiny stuff for the previous, like in case I wanted to make a new character basically. And then my old gear that I upgraded from. This goddamn staff lasted me literally like, I don't know, the whole week. I crafted this staff on day one, um, not realizing it was a war staff, and I literally could not upgrade it until I found a Searing Touch, ever. Uh, I think it's because war staves have such few caster mods, and I got super lucky, but at the same time, because it has such few caster mods, it's really easy to roll a budget war staff, which was something I never really thought about, but that's kind of cool, right? Yep, and that pretty much sums up the character, um, and my thoughts of the league so hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed the league as much as me i hope next league can be pretty fun as well um and if you're going to be watching the youtube i'm not really sure what content i'm going to be dropping on there i'll have to figure it out i do know that i'm going to be playing diablo 3 for like a couple of days just have some fun it's been fucking like five or six years since i played that um so you basically go from a game like path of exile where you're using so much of your brain and then you go to a game like Diablo 3 where you literally don't have to use your brain. It's such a nice transition. It's like slicing through butter. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, that's pretty much about it for me. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Of course, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget I stream every day live at twitch.tv slash box except for Sundays. Have a wonderful time, everybody. Mini K says goodbye. You look drunk, dude. Mini K? What? <laughs> Why do you look so drunk, dude? It's just he's just chilling, man. He's just chilling. I mean, you can't, I can't hit the stop recording with you like this, bud. <laughs>